Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with a one-week manufacturing lead time and over four million parts in stock, we're mapping blood vessels to recognize your face, spicing up swamps with mechatronic mates, and swimming with the robotic fishes. Literally, not figuratively, no one died. Automated thermal face recognition based on minutia extraction is a thermal imaging scan that maps the blood vessels under the skin of your face for instantaneous face recognition that would be almost impossible to spoof. Almost impossible. I'd like to take his his face off. Yeah. Yeah. According to the research team, the pattern of blood vessels beneath the skin of our faces is as unique as a fingerprint, iris, or other characteristic that can easily be revealed with an infrared thermal imaging camera. A computer algorithm has been developed to analyze the minutia of the blood vessels revealed by an infrared scan of a person's face. The thermogram readily reveals the pattern of blood vessels almost down to the smallest capillary with an accuracy of more than 97% gives a whole new meaning to mugshot. Biologists at the University of Texas in Austin and Salisbury University have discovered that two wrong mating calls can make a right for females. Well, female frogs anyways. Tungara frogs are challenged by an auditory world similar to what confronts humans in noisy environments. It's called the cocktail party problem. At breeding choruses, there's a lot of noise and crosstalk. When choosing a mate, the female frogs listen to a pattern of whines and chucks. If visible, the male frogs inflate their vocal sacs to add to their appeal. In an innovative experiment, biologists Michael Ryan and Ryan Taylor played around with those visual and auditory signals. They took a recording of a basic whine and then ran parallel experiments. One that added a robotic frog that inflated its vocal sac and another that added a chuck, both after the whine. On their own, neither added to the wine's sex appeal, but when the cues were strung together, the vocal sac perceptually rescued the chuck and bound it together with the first part of the wine chuck call. Ryan compares his findings to the continuity illusion in humans. If loud enough white noise is played in between a pair of beeps, humans will actually perceive the beeps as the continuous tone. It's not fully understood why this happens, but it could be a byproduct of our brain's ability to filter out background noise. The NARO project is a series of biologically inspired robots created at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. Leave it to the Swedes. They've already created an elegant sea turtle, but now they've taken a fish. The robotic fish is named Nenin and is part of an edutainment initiative. That's the combination of education and entertainment. You get it. The Fishbot is part of an outreach program to get kids interested in both robotics and biology not to mention math, engineering, and physics. Nanin's main structure is made of an anodized aluminum frame with a polycarbonate tube inside. This tube is used as the dive cylinder and allows for the static diving as it houses a Raspberry Pi running ROS and Linux, which controls the sea creature. The guts also contain a pressure sensor and an inertial measurement unit to provide vital information about the robot's location and depth. Four actuator modules that house two servo motors move an array of 2D fins that can be attached to a main robot body. These fins are interchangeable so as to allow experimentation with varying styles and shapes of fins. It's a cool robot and all, but the fish I was picturing was a, a bit different. They're gonna need a bigger pool. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Imagine a transportation system where vehicles communicate directly with each other in real time, giving drivers warnings about traffic delays, allowing a single driver to control multiple vehicles, or routing vehicles around hazardous road conditions. These are all aspects of the intelligent transportation concept, and researchers had developed a model to improve the clarity of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle transmissions needed to make this concept a reality. While some smartphone apps can tell you about traffic jams, there's a time lag between when the traffic jam begins and when the driver is notified. Direct communication between vehicles is the better solution. 
Vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication relies on transmitting data via radio frequencies in a specific band. But the transmission is complicated by the fact that both the transmitter and the receiver are in motion, and by the reflected radio waves or radio echoes that bounce off the passing objects. These variables can distort the signal, causing errors in the data. In the new model, researchers recognize that most roads are lined with objects that run parallel to the road itself, like trees, gas stations, or parked cars. This means the objects that can reflect radio waves are not uniformly distributed in all directions. By accounting for this parallel distribution of objects, the researchers were able to create a model that more accurately describes how radio signals will be affected by their surroundings. That information can be used to adjust the transmission signal to improve data transmission clarity in the future. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For pd and TV, I'm Megan Zimba and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Thank <laughs> you.